While there are some entirely new types of jobs out there under the green economy, for instance, one of the biggest ones is the energy auditor, many so-called green jobs are simply updates of existing positions. Similar to how software training, training in Microsoft Office and other technologies, would help you do an existing job better, many green training courses are oriented at allowing people to update their existing job or service. Buildings, commercial, industrial, and residential, are one of the primary ways we use energy and other resources. The building industry has been one of the first to embrace green concepts, as is very evident of the proliferation of standards. Here we have green building standards, some of which apply to buildings, some of which apply to people designing, building, and operating them, and some which apply to both. Take a minute and look at the standards. Are any of them familiar to you? LEED, L-E-E-D, stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is run by the U.S. Green Building Council, sometimes referred to as the USGBC. Buildings undergo the LEED certification process, which awards points based on several categories of green building design, including sustainable sites, energy, waste, and water management. A building is then rated LEED certified or silver, gold, or platinum based on how many points it gets over the minimum amount. A point for terminology here you should be very aware of and that the USGB GBC is very particular about is that buildings get LEED certified and people become LEED accredited. Here are the levels of LEED accreditation for professionals. First step is LEED Green Associate which would be a logical next step if you want to pursue a green profession after taking this course. It is a very broad certification in preparing for the exam. You will gain a better understanding of the components of green building and how they relate. The next step following the Green Associate is the Accredited Professional, which comes in several specific categories. The most general is probably Building Design and Construction, which applies to new construction. Another popular AP category is LEED Existing Buildings Operations and Maintenance, or EBOM. The other LEED AP categories are LEED Interior Design and Construction, Neighborhood Development, and LEED for Homes. If you're interested in pursuing the LEED AP, you want to become accredited in the category where you've been working or you'd like to be working. An interior designer or a floor installer would pursue interior design and construction accreditation. And an urban planner might either take building design and construction, neighborhood development, or EBOM, or all three, and then might become eligible for LEED Fellow, which you have to be nominated for after extensive experience. Another great certification for people wanting to get into the green industry is the BPI standard. BPI stands for Building Performance Institute. BPI training differs from LEED in that it's oriented more towards residential than commercial and it includes hands-on training. It's been a very quickly growing certification over the past few years. There are about 20,000 BPI professionals in the U.S. now and the demand for people with the certification continues to grow. Like LEED, BPI has a beginning course which is called the Building Analyst. A Building Analyst knows how to inspect a home and determine its areas of potential energy efficiency improvements as well as performing diagnostic tests for safety. There are four specialties in the residential homes tier of certifications. Envelope, formerly referred to as Shell, Manufactured Housing, Heating, and AC Heat Pump. The specialties are geared towards the type of energy improvements that the contractor might be performing. For instance, insulation, air sealing, and window contractors would require Envelope and Shell certification. HVAC contractors would likely go for heating and AC heat pump. BPI also certifies individuals in the multifamily residential specialties and in some more field focused certifications like the residential building envelope whole house air leakage controller installer. ResNet, which stands for Residential Energy Services Network, certifies both professionals and homes. The name of the system for rating homes is HERS, which stands for Home Energy Rating System. ResNet professionals are called HERS raters. HERS ratings were developed for rating new homes, including doing energy models of new homes from the point of construction documents or from diagnostic tests on existing and newly built homes. Some differences between ResNet and BPI trainings are that ResNet you learn energy modeling using a software like Remrate, whereas in BPI you learn to test for combustion appliance zone. Let's take a moment to understand the home energy rating system. The HERS rater evaluates the relative energy usage of a house and then assigns a house a score on the HERS index. The HERS index sets the rating of what they call a standard new home at 100. Homes more efficient than the standard new home score lower, that's lower than 100, and those less efficient 
are over 100. Other standards use this index for scoring homes as well. On the screen you can see that Energy Star Homes score an 85 or lower and Builders Challenge Homes score a 70 or lower. Another green standards group is NABSEP, which stands for North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. A person become NABSEP certified in the installation, design, and sales of solar and wind systems. There is an entry level exam for NABSEP and then a longer and more intensive exam to become a full installer. This is another quickly growing field with lots of solar incentives in states like New Jersey and California driving a lot of the new solar installations. The final green professional standard we'll look at is IGSPA, which is another hard to pronounce acronym, which stands for the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association. IGSPA certifies ground source heat pump installers and drillers. This is a rough outline of some existing jobs on the left hand side, and then in red the training programs offered that would prepare someone in the existing industry for a new or leveraged green job, which are listed in green on the right. Of course, people outside of the careers listed on the yellow area can enter these emerging careers as well. Also, even if you're not going to devote your entire workday to the pursuit of green, it is possible to green practically any job, and of course, other aspects of your life. We hope this course will give you some background on why it's important to do so.